Hotel Artemis is the story of uh, one night in a secret underground hospital for criminals uh, in Los Angeles in 2028 and what happens when the wrong group of people are trapped there. If the evening at Hotel Ar Artemis wasn't difficult enough already with water riots outside and a volatile mixture of people inside, then there's a complication further that occurs, which is a cop shows up at the door of what is supposed to be a secret hospital for criminals. Uh, it turns out that cop is a figure from the nurse's past who the nurse has to decide whether she will help or not, whether she'll break her rule of 22 years and let a non-member, a cop at that, into her hospital. The nurse's story is literally that. She's kind of created this gilded cage for herself. She's a, she's a woman with a tragedy in her past that we don't know about at the beginning of the film, um, who we grow to learn has kind of created this world um, in order that she doesn't have to confront the stuff of her past. Um, but all of that is wrapped inside what I think is one of Jodie Foster's best ever performances. Jeff Goldblum plays the Wolf King, also known as Niagara, also known as Orion Franklin. Uh, the Wolf King is the guy who runs LA. He runs the Malibu mob. He has been running the city since the early 70s. Um, and he's also the guy that owns the Artemis, even though the nurse works for him and the two of them made a deal way back to create this place. The nurse runs the Artemis, but she can't do it on her own. And she has her faithful orderly, Everest, to help. Uh, at first, the nurse seems very caustic to, uh, you know, this poor guy that has to do everything from uh, changing the sutras to changing the black market Russian batteries on the roof. Uh, but I think as the movie goes on, we realize that there's a genuine and deep affection between the two of them. The character of Nice, played by Sofia Boutella, uh, very clearly from the moment we meet her in Hotel Artemis, has a slightly different agenda to everyone else's. There is a fly-in-the-ointment nature to her character, which grows as the movie does. Um, and there's a certain degree to which Nice is unapologetically a kind of angel-of-death figure that kind of stalks our movie. She's definitely physically the most kind of powerful character in the film, and I think she's also the most morally ambiguous. Charlie Day uh, plays Acapulco in Hotel Artemis. He is, if there is a traditionally bad guy role from the beginning of this movie in a hotel full of bad guys, then Acapulco is it. He is an unreconstructed, coke-snorting, toxic masculinity incarnate and when I first sat down to talk to Charlie about it I asked him if he was willing to be that and he said that was the reason he wanted to do it um, and he took a role that is truly vile and explored it uh, and landed it incredibly hard Waikiki and Honolulu are two bank robber brothers that we meet at the beginning of the movie. Uh, Waikiki, played by Sterling K. Brown, is the older of the brothers, and though he was supposed to be retired from the game, his uh, messed up younger brother keeps pulling him back in. And in many ways, the story of Waikiki and Honolulu mirrors that of the nurses, in that Waikiki is himself kind of trapped in a life um, because of his relationship with his younger brother that he doesn't have the strength or is too good a person to walk away from. Waikiki and Honolulu, played by Sterling K. Brown and Brian Tyree Henry, they've known each other for 18 years. Their relationship, though not exactly the same as Waikiki and Honolulu's, does in some way mirror the characters. 
uh, Brian uh, is a wilder soul in real life, and Sterling is a uh, laser-focused, uh, brilliant, uh, you know, leader of men. And, um, and don't get me wrong, they both have way more to them in every direction, but there's something in their relationship already that's very much big brother, little brother. And, um, uh, and they brought that all to the screen. Hotel Artemis will be the first time Sterling K. Brown was a leading man in a movie, uh, because it's not gonna be the last time. He is magnetic and powerful and sweet and funny as well, but honestly, when, you, when he steps out in front of the camera, he's, one, he's got that X quality. I think what's brilliant about Dave and wonderfully sweet is that he doesn't realize how great an actor he is. And I think if there's a thing that I'm proud of in Hotel Artemis, it's that we dig out and show how soulful a person he is and that he plays. Uh, his performance is really nuanced. It goes from being like absolutely brilliant spot on com comedic foil to Jodie's character, the nurse, to truly heartfelt, to, you know, perhaps in a way that we would uh, think is more familiar, to this amazing physicality. What I hope audiences take away from Hotel Artemis is a movie that was both a really great visceral time that was funny and exciting um, and dangerous but also a thing that stays with them, both emotionally and that they want to revisit because there's a density of kind of detail in the film uh, that they want to go back and live in.